Hello, welcome to my 40th Noob Gardener YouTube video. Yeah. Well, actually, it's just a number. Nothing to get excited about, really. I have now finished building all of the timber sections for the track bed, except for the bit down the end where the sidings are going to go. That's an altogether bigger job I'll just want to do in one go once everything else is completed. I need to put felt on the remaining sections, but one of the things that I need to do before I can do that is I'm actually going to hand build some track. The section underneath the tree is going to be a station. It's going to have a platform with track running either side, which means I've got to put uh, three sets of points down as it turned out, although one of them's a dummy point leading to a dummy siding. I've just set it out like this so you can see where it's roughly going to run. Here and here is where the points are going to go. I've got Gauge Master points motors which have frog polarity switching. So although I'm under the tree where it's likely to get mucky, I do have an advantage that I'm not going to be relying on the switch blades for electrical continuity. But I know what some people will say, this is nuts putting essentially double O points this close to ground level. I'm confident that it's going to work. It's just a bit of metal. A metal conducts electricity. It's all going to be fine, don't worry. I'm sure you realise the netting behind me is just to protect the new grass when it comes out from pests like my children. Mainly my children. In fact, probably only my children. They would be trampling all over it right now if the net wasn't there. So that has a very important purpose. And I think that's all I've really got to talk about now. So I'm going to get on and do some things and then hopefully, very soon, I'll have some more stuff to talk about. Hello, welcome to my 40th YouTube. Uh, mainly from the... Go away, birds. ever going to stop? What an annoying noise. I think I might go and shake that tree. Okay, 